if the only tool you've got in your tool bag is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. Well, we've got we got nails, we got screws, we got bolts, we got you know thumbtacks. There's a lot of problems out there. We've got this kind of convergence of both state actors who threaten us. And we have the persistent threat of, let's call it sub-state or non-state groups like the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant and the other alphabet soup of groups that are affiliated with them, but all of whom share kind of the common um, interest in changing our way of life and propagating theirs. The underlying causes of uh, this violence in the Middle East it has a lot to do with uh, demographic shifts and tribal and, of course, religion, economic disparity, bad, bad politics and governance. And those things, those underlying issues are not going to be resolved for a generation or more. And so they become the, you know, the wellspring of these disaffected youth who are then perverted by forms of religious ideology that are extreme and we have what we have and of course that adversary is very capable and ex expletive or ex expletive is probably the right word but right. It, they exploit right. um, social media to recruit in ways that we haven't seen before so this combination of effects the underlying issues the exploitation of social media and the perversion of religion creates a very dangerous, volatile situation that's going to take a very long time to overcome. And it's the combination of those that makes it difficult to distribute the force and to ensure it's ready for, because each kind of threat requires a different kind of military instrument. Now we are, we're, we're getting it done. You know, we got, again, we got great leaders at every level from Lieutenant and Ensign all the way up to General and Admiral, and we're figuring it out. Um, but that's what I think should contribute to this sense of instability.